Simeon said to Mary, Behold, this child is destined for the ruin and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign of contradiction. And your own soul, a sword, will pierce. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we come together to celebrate these sacred mysteries on this great feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Jesus. Christ Jesus, you healed the contrite. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Jesus. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who will that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering. Grant that your church participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save, Save me, me, O Lord, Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which towards those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise well, good evening. Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, Our Lady of the Blessed Mother. And those uh, sorrows um, are from the time that Simeon prophesied that her heart would be pierced with a sword to the time that they had to flee into Egypt, to the time that they lost Jesus in Jerusalem, 
to the time that she stood at the cross, to the time that he, he was taken down from the cross, and then the time that he was buried in the ground. And I think this is a feast day that, and I don't mean any disrespect, but I think mothers can certainly empathize with a lot more than we guys. We guys love our children. Uh, we bond with them very well in most cases. But there's always a connection between a mother and a son or a daughter that a male can never experience. You all got to carry us in your wombs for nine months, and that forever changed your lives as well as ours. Imagine what it would have been like for Mary. Here she was, a young lady, and an angel appeared to her and said that she would be the mother of the Son of God. So she already knew that he was special, more than most parents or most mothers think that their own children are special. But she also knew that he was special in the sense that he was God. And yet, she knew from her own history of the Hebrew people that things were not going to go well for him. Every prophet throughout the Jewish history had been persecuted. Jeremiah even had been killed. And here we have Jesus who's going to go out and begin his preaching career. And it must have scared her to death to think that what he was about to face. And yet she gave him his, her 100% support. Oh, the other sorrowful mystery I forgot about was when they met on their way to, uh, uh, on the way of the cross. That was the other one I forgot about. But imagine how she felt <coughs> when they had to flee into Egypt, leaving all of their possessions, their land, their home, and they had to become aliens in another land, literally immigrants. Again, why we as a church reach out to immigrants and to aliens in our own midst. Imagine what she felt like when she lost her child in Jerusalem. Now, thankfully, everything turned out well. But we can empathize with a parent whose child runs off and disappears. Imagine what she felt like when he was arrested and scourged and beaten. Imagine what she felt like listening to the nails being hammered into his hands and his feet. Imagine what she felt like when she heard people ridicule her son hanging upon the cross for nothing more than being a man of peace and a man of God. Imagine what she felt like when she buried her only child in the tomb. And yet through all of that sorrow, there was an underlying joy that she could probably never completely understand until that third day of the resurrection. And I think that's our message for each of us today. When things aren't going well, when our life seems to be filled with nothing but sorrow, to remember that this sorrow will pass and become a joy of resurrection. It is the Christian way. It is our way. Because the night always gives way to the dawn Sickness always gives way to health. Death always gives way to life. So when you feel yourself overwhelmed with the trials and tribulations of this world, when nothing seems to be going your way, when your children are acting up, or in this day and age, as our parents are getting older, they're beginning to act up. Remember Mary. Unite yourself to her sorrow because uniting yourself to her sorrow means that someday you'll be you will be united in her joy of seeing her resurrected son. Remember, it doesn't it rains all the time at, at times. Sometimes the sun never appears during the daytime, it seems. But yet we know that a dawn is coming upon us, the dawn of the resurrection. Please stand. 
And now through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, let us offer our petitions. For the Church, may the Lord, the giver of all spiritual gifts, bestow on her every good thing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders, may God shepherd them in their governance of those whom they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who grieve, may they find solace through the intercession of Mary, Our Lady of Sorrows. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in this holy place, may the Lord continue to help us grow closer to him in all that we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may their souls be received into the eternal life and peace of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Sonny Faela, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of those out west who are still battling the fires. May God calm the flames, give them water, and grant them mercy. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all of those who are in the path of Hurricane Sally, that they will find shelter and God will avert the storm. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And in a very special way on this Lady of Sorrows, we pray for all parents who have lost a child for whatever reason that God may comfort them and give them the day, the day of a resurrection. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving Father, on this Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, we ask you to be merciful to us, that we may in turn be merciful to our neighbors. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. <coughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as the most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the Sorrowful Mother. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who will please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Rejoice when you share in the sufferings of Christ, that you may also rejoice ex exultantly when his glory is revealed.
And let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves for the Church's sake what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Have a great evening, and we'll see you next time. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.